Hello guys and welcome. In the last lecture, I've shown you how to run multiple commands from Python using Netmico on a networking device, in this case on a Cisco router. Now, I want to show you something else. Let's see how can we run commands from a file. I have the same topology, so we have a Cisco router, we are directly connected to that router. We have a TCP IP connection with that router and SSH is working. And I want, for example, to start the OSPF routing protocol on that router. I want to run the following commands, router OSPF1, then I want OSPF to announce every connected network from area zero, so from the backbone area, after that, I modify administration distance to 60 and uh, the last command is default information originate. Okay, back to our Python script. This is uh, the script from uh, the last lectures. First, I am importing the connect handler class. After that, I create a dictionary with my networking device with my Cisco IOS router. This is the IP address, the username, the password, the port on which SSH is listening on. This is the enable password. So the password for the enable command. And after that, I am creating a connection object using the connect handler function and uh, passing the dictionary as an argument. And I am entering the enable mode by calling the enable method. Before disconnecting, I want to run each command from this file. Netmico has a very useful method called send config from file. So simply by calling that method, we can run commands from a text file. So let's write connection dot send config from file and the argument is the file name. Of course, we must use a valid path. In this example, the OSPF TXT file is in the same directory with my Python script. So here I'll write between single codes OSPF.txt. Simultaneously, I'll connect using PuTTY and SSH to my router. and I'll run a debug command. So debug IP OSPF and let's say events and terminal monitor. By default, the debug output is redirected only to a console connection. And this is not a console connection. This is a SSH connection. So terminal monitor is required. And now back to my script, to my Python script, I'll run this script. entering enable mode. Now the script is entering the enable mode and the commands have been executed. So here we can see how it created the OSPF process one, how it ran the network command and uh, all other commands. Of course, if I run show IP protocols, I can see here the OSPF1 process. If we want to see the commands, we can take the output in a variable, let's say output, and print output. And here we can also have a print message, let's say running commands from file. And I'll run the script one more time. We can see the message here, running commands from file. And these are the commands, okay? This is the output variable. Enter configuration commands, one per line. And here we can see all commands we've executed. This is a very useful method to run commands from a file. This way, we can automate the configuration of multiple devices in a large network.